Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyra. Today we're going to be chatting about 12 fragrances in my collection that I think are perfect for fall. So I hope this inspires you to look in your fragrance collection to pull some things out. I'm not someone who wears perfume seasonally. I wear what I want, when I want, but these are the ones that kind of remind me of fall or give me the fall vibe. So if you want to see the 12 fragrances I've picked, just keep on watching. So I'm just going to scooch over to the side so I can throw up some images of the notes from Fran Fran Fragrantica. Why was that so hard to say? So I am have the 12 fragrances here, so we're just going to chat about them quickly. I'm going to give you their vibe and the notes will be there for you and they'll all be listed in the description box as well. So the first one we're going to talk about today is this guy here. So this is No Name on the Bottle. This is Nebras by La Taffa Perfumes. So this is a very warm, cozy vanilla. So the notes are red berries, mandarin orange, and middle notes are vanilla, cacao, cacao <laughs> and rose, and base notes are sugar, tonka bean, musk, and amber. This is like a warm, cozy vanilla hug. Like it's it's hard to describe. It's like a heavier vanilla. It's like thicker. This is not like a summertime light and airy vanilla in my opinion. This is very much like I'm snuggled up in a blanket and I'm reading a book and it's a little bit brisk outside. It just feels like a beautiful hug. Like if someone hugged you while they were wearing this it would be so nice. It almost has like a like a chocolate chip cookie quality to it from the cacao. It's very nice. I've heard a lot of people describe this as like a warm vanilla chocolate chip cookie. And I would say that's quite accurate. And it, I feel like there's a lactonic note in there as well, even though it's not listed. It's just a lactonic, creamy vanilla with, with like a hint of cocoa. It's it's very very lovely. Number two is Camera by Latafa as well. I didn't plan to put them next to each other, but there they are. So this is a dupe of the Killian Angels Share perfume, if I'm not mistaken. So this has top notes of cinnamon, cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot. Middle notes of dates, praline, tuberose, and mahonial, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, myrrh, amberwood, and akigala wood. So this is like a warm apple, cinnamon apple strudel. It's very like cinnamon apple pie. Like it's a very no scratch that. It's like a cinnamon apple pie with like brandy or like cognac in it. It's very, not like boozy, but it has like a cinnamon apple booze scent to it. It's so nice and it, because of the cinnamon, it does really remind me of the fall season. Like it's not spicy, but it's got that hint of like oomph, you know what I mean? It's such a nice perfume. It's a fantastic dupe. This lasts really well on my skin as well. Um, I do reapply all my perfumes throughout the day, but this one is just so nice and this one I would probably say reminds me of fall the most because of that cinnamon quality. I don't think I have a cinnamon note anywhere else in my collection so I do really enjoy this one. So next up is the Fenty Eau de Parfum or I don't even know what fragrance quality this is. Yeah, Eau de Parfum. So this one is Rihanna's Perfume. So this has top notes of blueberry and tangerine, middle notes of Bulgarian rose, geranium and magnolia, and base notes of musk and patchouli. So this to me is like a I get most of the rose, but then I do get a hint of that blueberry and like that fruitiness afterwards and then followed by like a white floral. I think this is so lovely. Like it's it's a rose, so you have to like rose in your perfumes because that's like the overpowering notes in here. It's just like so sophisticated and like sultry and sexy and it just feels very professional. And it's so strong that you can smell it like out of the atomizer when you can't do that for all of them. I just think this is so unique. I don't have a lot of rose perfumes because rose isn't always my favorite but this is just blended so well. Like I said you get like a tart blueberry and then like the white florals. It's so lovely and they do now have this in store at um, some Sephora's so if you're curious about smelling it you should check out Sephora. So next up I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly but this is Amir Al Oud Intense also by Latafa. So this, if you're unfamiliar, is a dupe for By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela. 
and it doesn't look like I've used a lot but it's because this is a beast mode perfume like you need two spritzes and you'll smell this on you two days later like I put on a sweater today um, from when I wore this perfume a few days ago and I could still smell it and it was still fresh and vibrant it's so good so this perfume is so 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 strong and I would say like it's a 95% dupe like it's really really close so if you love the by the fireplace this is a fantastic alternative and I don't think I paid more than $40 for it I think I paid like 27 so definitely look into this but the notes here are top notes of woodsy notes and agar wood which is oud middle notes of vanilla and sugar base notes again agar wood which is oud sandalwood and herbal notes again one that you can smell from the the atomizer i hope that's the right word this is just cuddled up by the fireplace and you know roasted marshmallows if you're familiar with by the fireplace it's a wonderful scent i think that's a year-round scent this is the exact same like it's just cozy warm sugary smoky vibes it's fantastic i highly recommend so next is an oldie but a goodie and i would say this was probably my first like favorite perfume so this is my burberry black specifically the black version so this has top notes of jasmine, middle notes of peach and rose, base notes of amber and patchouli. This is a unisex fragrance in my mind. Um, I'd say all of them are except Fenty. Fenty leans quite feminine because of the rose, but again, anyone can wear it. This one is very unisex. This is like smoky amber, but... I've never been able to describe this. This is just, like I mentioned, like an OG favorite perfume. And I'm so happy. I found this 90 milliliter bottle at Winners, like when I, shortly after I discovered it being a favorite. It, this is just fantastic. I don't know if I would put this in my top five anymore, but it it's just so good. And I think if you were a male presenting person, you should really check this out. I have no words for this. It's so good. And I low-key gatekeep this one. And next up is one from I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know where else these are sold, but this is Sugarful and Spice by Michel Germain. So this is like an affordable, like think like Ariana Grande price range, but I think this might be cheaper at like $50. I think they have four and they four perfumes in this sugarful line and they just released a red one which i haven't smelt yet but this one is so lovely and this is definitely in top five now like this is she's fantastic so top notes are blood orange and pink peony middle notes are ginger and pink pepper base notes are vanilla and amber this smells like this is what i'm gonna wear today This smells like sweet, toasted, ambery candy, but then you get a hint of ginger and then more amber. It is so warm and sugary and sultry. It is, it's so good and it's like $50. And when I say this lasts on my skin, like I'll just need one hit during the day and then probably reapply at like six o'clock. It's so strong this is beast mode this is definitely a beast mode perfume for $50 um I don't even know how much you get in here there's no info on the bottle but this is so good if you have not smelled this and you live in Canada you need to go to your shoppers and smell it another one that I low-key gatekeep because it's so good it's so good so let me know if you've smelled this one before I'm gonna move on because I could Google and gush over this one for hours. So next up is a, the newest perfume to my collection. I got this a few months ago. This is followed by Kerosene. This is another beast mode fragrance, so you have to be careful with this one. So this one has notes of coffee, caramel, chocolate, vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, and amber. And this smells like chocolate coffee. It smells like someone's melting chocolate and then there's drip coffee brewing right next to it. It is so 
intoxicating and sweet it's like it smells like black coffee so no milk there's no creamy notes to it but you get the sugar probably from the caramel but i wouldn't necessarily call it a caramel note i just think it's strongly sugared black coffee and someone's doing something with chocolate nearby and this is so strong when i wear this i do one hit at the back of my neck because i don't want it in front of me that's how strong it is and i'll do one on my arm and if this gets on your clothes it's not coming off until you wash the clothes like it is so incredibly powerful and this is a i think oh i can't remember how big this bottle is i want to say it's 90 milliliters this will last you forever it's so 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 good and i really want to try more from kerosene because of this this is just i think perfect for the fall season because it is thick and it's heavy and it's like this delicious chocolatey kind of like in the vein of pumpkin spice there's no pumpkin spice notes to it but like you know how everyone gets crazy for coffee around this season this is just so good it's so 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 good the next one here i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly this is bede al oud amethyst again by latafa i don't realize how many latafa fragrances i owned but this is supposed to be a dupe for an initio fragrance i don't know which one but this one has notes of pink pepper bergamot turkish rose bulgarian rose jasmine and base notes of agar wood which is oud amber and vanilla so this is your typical oud fragrance this is like i'm pretty sure like the strongest oud in my collection but then you get this nice rose coming to it but it's not the same rose as fenty it's like this reminds me of like fresh roses and this again another beast mode like you don't need a lot of sprays of this and this will last a long time it's just such a good classic fragrance i would say this leans more on the feminine side if you were looking at it on that scale it's just very intoxicating like you get that nice smoky woody oud but then you get like a fresh floral to it as well i think it's very interesting and be with the season change i think this is really nice to get into that smoky mood so this is another newer one in my collection and this is by mancera this is choco violet so this is a wonderful fragrance so top notes are hazelnut orange bergamot middle notes are dark chocolate and violet Base notes are Madagascar vanilla and white musk. So to me, this is a very powdery, like think like baker's chocolate, but like chopped up. It's like powdery baker's chocolate and then this beautiful violet. I just thought this would be so nice because of like the chocolate aspect to it. I don't know why, but I'm associating fall with chocolate. This is just so lovely. I do love a powdery fragrance. I just... This is so nice. It feels like maybe if you were walking through a field of violets with like dark chocolate and there was this powder in the air. I don't know. I think it's it's really, really nice. I This is, like I said, one of the newer ones, so I've only worn it a few times, but every time I do, I just love it. And I think the value for these Mancera perfumes is fantastic. Like this is a 120 milliliter bottle. I think I paid $90 for it. So fantastic value all right so we are on our last three so this one is from dossier and this is floral marshmallow which is a dupe for killian's love don't be shy so this has top notes of marshmallow neroli and bergamot middle notes of orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine and orris base notes of vanilla musk and amber and as you can see i've used quite a bit of this considering the size of my collection i think this fragrance is beautiful it's like a powdery toasted marshmallow but it has some like obviously some white florals because of the notes but it also it's a little bit fruity in there like I'm thinking like strawberries or raspberries it's just so nice and I don't know why but I think this is great for fall and winter because it is a little bit heavier it's not very light and airy which I think would be more appropriate for, for summer or spring scents. It's just very cozy and like a warm hug situation. This is fantastic and a great dupe because I've smelled both of them. This is a really good dupe. Alrighty, and another fave is Versace Crystal Noir. So this has top notes of pepper, ginger, and cardamom, 
middle notes of coconut, gardenia, orange blossom, and peony, and then base notes of sandalwood, musk, and amber. So you can't see how much I've used, but I love this thing. This is a 90 milliliter bottle as well. So this is has a strong coconut to it, but this to me is like a sexy coconut and it doesn't necessarily scream summer. Like it's just so smooth and creamy and almost lactonic. And like you can really get that sandalwood musk coming through. So I think this is great for a transition period from summer to fall, but then I also wouldn't shy away from wearing this in the winter because of its creamy lactonicness, even though it has coconut, which is as typically associated with summer. I think this is just so sexy and like enveloping, which I think is appropriate for fall and winter as well. Love this. And our last fragrance is from Zara. So this is Zara's Gourmand Leather, which has bergamot, iris, and leather in it. So for this, I could have picked a whole bunch because this is a dupe for Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. I have quite a few dupes <laughs> of that. I have the... um. The Latafa some, something silver. I have the Afnan um, After Nine, I think it's called. Some of that got in my mouth. I have this one and I have the original. This is like top five, like I mentioned in previous videos. I love the smell of this. I think it's perfect for any time of year, but specifically fall and winter, I think because of like the leather and iris notes to it like it's just so it's just sexy i love this i don't have any other words for this and no matter which dupe you get they're all beast mode so love this love 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 anyway so those are my 12 picks for perfumes to be bringing out during the fall season i guess fall slash winter let me know what perfumes you are rotating in and if you do rotate perfumes for different seasons i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe so i can see you in the next one bye